the blazing worm. Ooh, I got one, I got one, I got one. Oh, let's go, Trey, go, Trey. TJ, come over here, I need you, TJ. <laughs> Oh, go, oh, Trey. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. And I was just looking at, oh. Oh my God. Trey, come here. What are you doing? Ah! What's up, guys? It's TJ. Welcome over here to the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. Before we get started in this video, I want to kindly ask you guys if you will go ahead and hit that red subscribe button make it turn gray we're on the road to half a million subscribers by the end of the year also while you're down there go ahead and hit the thumbs up on this video but with that said in today's video we're going to be testing walmart's cheap potentially the world's cheapest but walmart's cheapest combos that they have in the fishing section now uh, i've already went in there and bought them they look really freaking awesome one of them is super bright orange one of them super bright blue and they look freaking sick but I want to just, I, I've teamed up today. We've got Trey. Trey, come on this side because it's uh, the sun. There's the sun is out. The, as you can see, there's not a cloud in the sky. So the sun is out, in fact, sun the sun is, is out. out. But what Trey and I are going to do in this video is show you guys that you don't necessarily need to go spend an arm and a leg and your firstborn child to go catch big fish. That The goal is to catch big fish. You know what they I, I always say? say? What is that? They say... I'm just saying that they say a $500 bat doesn't fix a $1 swing. So. A $500 bat don't fix a $1 swing. That's correct. Uh, I got, listen. That's the truth. There's life lessons. Life lessons with Trey, uh, fishing with, with Trey, whatever with you're, Trey, I don't even yeah, know what Trey you're. Trey Bradford Films. There you Trey go. Bradford whatever, fishing, whatever it is. You know, I'll, I'll put, I've yeah. Got going on he's got, yeah, whatever it is, it'll be linked. I'll put it in the description. You guys want to go follow Trey on Instagram. He's, he's actually doing something really cool very soon. It's going to be called like, what was it? Co to pro? Yeah, co it's going to be my co-angler to pro fisherman journey i'm gonna vlog document all of that yeah because uh, i know whole, I'm, yeah that whole process yeah. is gonna be filmed and posted to youtube very 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 soon yeah and it's gonna be like an ongoing thing but anyways enough of that listen what we're doing like i said nine dollar combos and the goal is to go catch big fish are we gonna catch big fish i don't know is like are there even gonna be big fish where we go i, I mean well yeah we out, we know. are in florida we are in florida so there are big there are big bass in florida i i'll I, I be giving you know i i give it to you florida you got some big bass but we've got to go find them bad boys today the conditions are it's 73 degrees today right now it was 31 degrees last night jacksonville florida what in the world do you got going on will you grab the rods real quick yeah. and show them just so we can show them what we've got i didn't do a little inside store thing because at this Walmart, apparently they were like, hey, sir, no no cameras in this Walmart. And I was like, that's crazy because I've filmed in this Walmart about 75 times. So, but whatever, you know. Before we show you guys these rods, I want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor. And that is Mystery Tackle Box. Guys, if you use code YAKPAC on Mystery Tackle Box's website, you can get your first box for as little as $10. I'm going to go ahead and bust this thing open really quick to show you guys how awesome. This thing is probably one of my favorite MTBs that I've ever got to my front door. It's like Christmas every month at your front door, like just a reoccurring subscription. It's freaking awesome. So check this out. We've got this type of lure this time of year. It looks on the back, it shows like they're extra tough or whatever. These, this type of year, when these fish are pushing up shallow, they're gonna be chasing bait fish. And I've always said an all white presentation is solid for no matter where you are in the country. There's an airplane. There's an airplane. airplane. Oh, right here. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that airplane because they're the ones that just airdropped me, my mystery tackle box. But anyways, moving right along, we've got the uh, the ring crawl from Weston. Weston is off, obviously known from like, uh, I think they're a European tackle company if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they make some very high quality stuff, of course. Then we've got, dude, that looks sick. Look at that. The colors on that. I know, dude, and the hooks look good, everything. That's, that's insane. We've got hooks. Oh my goodness, we've got a fat, thick boy jig right there, the X-Lite jig. I might get lucky and go flip that on a bed. And go That's what I'm saying. One. Yeah, I, it is getting about that time of year. We've got some of these things right here. They look like little shad. Again, very like look Texas rig with a with a weight, without a weight, whatever. Very good uh, color for uh, any any. If you're lake fishing, pond fishing, creek fishing, doesn't matter. That color is going to be very very versatile. And then we've got the Biwa. I have not seen Biwa baits in a long time, and I don't know why. Actually, let me pull one of these out really quick. They smell. They actually. They smell terrible. Smell that. Ugh. They they smell terrible, but they, but terrible in a good way. But that is a that's a good looking uh that's a good looking little bait right there. Little trailer, or if you're just trying to pitch down into some thick grass. But anyways, 
Again, thank you, Mystery Tackle Box, for sponsoring the channel. You guys love and believe in me, and, and I love you back. And uh, again, code Yak Pack on Mystery Tackle Box website. Get your first box as low as $10 now. Let's show them these rods, Trey. We've got a very bright blue combo here, and we've got a very bright orange combo here. Probably extra bright because it's freaking sunny as heck out here right now. But this is a five foot six medium light six to ten pound line and we're talking we might at best have some eight pound mono on there and that's pushing it it's probably more along the lines of six pound but again the goal today catch big fish show you guys that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to go catch fish have fun with your friends your family whatever as long as you're out on the water having a good time now with all that said we are actually already rigged up so we don't have to get rigged up let's uh let's go get on the water and try to catch them okay boys what the frick is mine's already broke is it? I don't know what happened no there. Way. <laughs> I you mean, it's just, just put, hang on. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good enough. It's good enough for government work. Okay, let's make sure we're. Look, mine's hard oh, to it won't even wait. Spin. No, is that how I fish a spinning rod? On the right hand side. That's how I do it. No, I got to do mine the other way. Okay, I was about to say, why does that feel so weird? I haven't, um, I haven't used a spinning rod in so long. Really? Yeah, it's been a, it's been like a minute, minute. No so. Way. Yeah, I was like, wait I'd a minute. I've been grinding on the spinning rod, you know? Mm-hmm. The Ozark Trail Wayfarer. We've got, uh, let's see, what we've got a 5 to 5 gear ratio, 4 pound, 6 pound, 8 pound, 220, 180, 110. I wonder what pound line is on here right now. I I'd say probably 6 or 10, maybe. 8? Uh, probably like 8. Yeah, know. probably 8 pound. Looks looks a little thick. Looks a little thick, but I guess I'm not even going to cut that off. We'll just leave that dangling. We'll let it dangle its own... Do its own thing. Okay, now let's get rigged up. What are you gonna throw first, Mr. Trey? I think I'm gonna start with the mini clutch because I caught some on it the other day mm -hmm. and I'm thinking that's my best opportunity to beat you. Okay, well guess what? I've got the secret sauce that is not even released yet. Well, that's just unfair. I've got a pack of the blazing worms that should be out on March 1st, I believe. Ready to, listen to that drag, fishing? listen to that drag. Well, mine sounds better than yours because mine's blue, so. <laughs> yeah oh goodness okay they will definitely also be available on carl's so if you have a uh, membership there i'm pretty sure it'll be even cheaper to get there look at the flex on this boy oh my gosh dude that is actually right actually ridiculous oh my gosh look at this this is absurd bro fighting a fish on this is going to be like uh, out of control all right i don't i ain't gonna tell you how to fish trade just make sure your drag is set because i can't imagine just losing a a, fit, a good fish you know what i'm saying on some well, that's crazy because that's only gonna happen to you not me <laughs> you should be good all right let's see if there's anything in this drain oh my gosh dude the visibility is like trash Ugh. we'll see baby let's give her a launch a cast test oh my gosh <laughs> oh my line is tangled already this is gonna be goofy Huh? No, mine's not crunchy when it reels, but that are, that's not a good thing. That cannot be a good thing. We were out fishing yesterday and uh, there's goose poop everywhere because welcome to Florida. But <laughs> I stepped on something that I thought was like a stick and it ended up being goose poop between my toes. And let me tell you how disgusting I felt afterwards. It was, uh, it's quite the experience. 10 out of 10, do not recommend getting goose poop stuck between your toes and uh and crocs that's never a never a good thing don't even know how it slithered its way in there to the old croc but it did and it was not a uh enjoyable experience by any means watch this i'm about to go mess with tj the river's line. Oh, oh, Trey, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. And I was just looking at, oh, oh my God. Oh, the rod is, this rod is insane. This rod is insane. This rod is insane. Trey, come here, what are you doing? Ah! Get him, get him, get him. Help me, this rod is insane. Make sure your GoPro's on, make sure your GoPro's on. Look at this rod. Dude. Look at this rod back up a little bit, Trey. Oh my God. 
This fish swooped it, bro. Him, him, Look at this. No, I got him. I got him. I'm gonna flip him. Oh, you gotta get him. You gotta get him. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Oh my Let's go. god. Bro, choke the blazing worm. Turn this way. Oh my gosh. My man choked the blazing worm. That is actually. Oh, I don't, you know, I just, I don't. Because do you know? Because I don't know. Because the, let me just tell you, this rod right here. First fish of the day. That's a solid. That's a five, bro. It's got to be five. Close to five if it ain't five. That's a five. four pounder for sure. That's a good fish. Coped. The blazing worm. Hold up. Let's see that blazing worm right there. I know. You know what's me, crazy? Uh, I was coming over here to sabotage my competition. This is what I get for trying to be a, <laughs> a bad sportsman. Bro, that's crazy. As I was saying, pollen in the water is a good thing. But we're going to get this healthy girl back. We got a couple pictures of her. And man, I really, I, I really, I really, really, I really want to highlight this fish actually has like gold flakes on it which is crazy i've never seen a largemouth with like actual gold flakes such a pretty fish though all right big bertha look at how healthy just off back to the depth she goes that's so sick first fish of the day well i mean i would like to say like it's only up from here but that was a pretty dang good start my feet are actually freezing so let's get up out this water <laughs> holy smokes all right trey it's your turn to catch a big one now dude i threw my freaking rod in the water <laughs> uh yes look at this i freaking i i was trying to sabotage tj and i got excited whenever the freaking fish jumped and i threw my whole rod and reel in the water what was i thinking it's in the my lines in the trees my rods in the water like well, dude what <laughs> why would you do that? why would i do that <laughs> remember ridiculous. last year Remember last year when I caught like a six or whatever it was on that trap on the dog demon combo? Yeah. And to get it, I threw my rod <laughs> in the water and then jumped in the water with brand new $400 Yeezys on. I don't know why. You're in a tree. Yeah, I'm literally in the tree. And then I threw my rod in the water. Well, let me see then... my phone really quick because you got a mess to deal with over here. Yeah. So, so what I'm thinking oh, is. Uh, that's, that's my yours. phone. Hang on. Yeah, what I'm thinking is you just like, because we basically, Trey and I, came around the pond opposite ends like that so you just fish it back that way i'll fish it back this way and, me fish uh, back that way yeah you can fish back that we'll just meet by the, the uh the drain over there and hit the second spot if we don't bust on them well i've got to get my rod out of the yeah, water you got, you got a situation and a half <laughs> boys the blazing worm let's go yes Whew, i feel so good about that mm -mm -mm. nothing beats a Catching a good old thick, healthy, large mouth. I'm telling you now, Trey, just wait till you hook into a fish. Is it actually fun? Bro, did you see this rod was quadrupled? This, the, the rod was pretty much bent so bad it was back in the Walmart fishing section, like. <laughs> oh, a little shot, I had to throw it back real quick. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. TJ, come over here. I need you, TJ. TJ, I need you. TJ, I need you. Oh, let's go, Trey. Go, Trey. Oh, Trey, let's go. I'll drop my phone. TJ, I need you. TJ, I need you. TJ, 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 TJ. I need you. I need to take my drag. TJ, I need you. That boy's scooting. Oh, Trey, let's go. Oh, God, I don't know what to do. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. I don't know what to do. Don't let me down, TJ. Give me a jump, baby. Come give me a jump. Give me a jump. Oh, what are we doing? I don't know what to do, Trey. I don't know what to do. You know what? I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. You better flip him. You better flip him. That's a nice walleye, bud. Look at this rod. Oh, this rod. That's a nice walleye right there. <laughs> Look at your rod. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, you hold on to him and I'm gonna. Dude, hang on, I got this in my finger. The mini clutch, baby. Let's go, dude. What Look how healthy. I'm gonna come to the other side of you. Hang on, let me give him a dunk. Yeah, I'm gonna come to the other side of you. 
please tell me you was recording. Yeah, I was. Okay. God, I made a parallel cast on that bank, and old fat mama was up there trying to get her a bite to eat. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, she wound up with some trebles in her mouth. The whole but, mini clutch uh, strikes yeah, again. The whole <laughs> mini clutch in the Walmart rod. How about these rods, dude? dude. <laughs> For a minute, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of like hurt because I hit myself in the back of the head. But I kind of like these rods now. They kind of won't break. All else prevails. Four Good pound? fish, yeah. yeah easily, yeah, help. easily. Look how, look at thick mama. Thick mama. Look, look at, at that. the girth. Oh. Look at them shoulders. Yeah, she thick. She's been that, in the gym. All right, there is a healthy specimen. Let's uh. Take a picture and get her back. Yep, she's been doing uh, her squats. So yes, sir. yeah, picture and then release. Yep. Yeah, yeet. Not the most gracious release I've ever seen in my life, but it'll do. It'll work. She got. She swam away. Yeah, she's she swam fine. away. Holy smokes! All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to bring this video to a close. Unfortunately, because it's due to bluebird skies and winter time in Florida, uh, the the fish just didn't want to bite. I mean, Trey and I got lucky. What are you doing? You're so goofy. <laughs> Trey and I got lucky with two very, very solid fish today. Uh, I'm happy with that because I usually say small fish are better than no fish, but I will never complain about catching a five pounder or four and a half, whatever it was. It was probably a YouTube eight pounder, to be honest with you. But Trey himself also caught a uh, like four, four and a half, five pounder, whatever it was. And and those two rods, Trey, you want to grab those rods real quick? I thought that I thought it was a lot of fun using some of these, like the nine dollar, just like medium light rods they got so much hold the hold right here i'm gonna show them the bend like in the sky so you can see like they bend a lot it just bends like crazy so any fish you catch on there is just gonna feel like insanely large i think you know this was a ton of fun i, I mean, thought so like, too and like i said in the beginning yeah it just goes to show you that you just don't need a 500 hundred dollar bat if you got a one dollar swing or hook you know? set one dollar yeah. hook set you know so, but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to subscribe hit that like button i love you guys we will catch y'all on the next adventure peace